Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to check to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Pisces. This is going to be your uh, bonus love reading. Down below, I'll have the timestamp if you want to skip past the shuffling. My links for my Spotify and Apple Music will be down there as well, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I do need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transaction, so I appreciate you for your patience. Okay, let's get started. Remember, this could be vice versa the energy, okay? So if it's not yours, it's theirs. Okay, so for Pisces... Um, how does the person they think about all the time feel about them? The person that Pisces thinks about all the time, how do they feel about them? Thank you. Person that Pisces thinks about all the time, how do they feel about them? Person that Pisces thinks about, thank you. Person that Pisces thinks about all the time, how do they think about them? How do they feel about them? Person that Pisces thinks about all the time. Thank you. Can I get a clarifier for this nine of earth, please? Thank you. Can I get a clarifier for this ego card, please? Thank you. Can I get a clarifier for the star, please? Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. Um... Gonna take some cards underneath the deck and I'm gonna start talking. Alright. So I have here I have here um oh shit was that okay I have here I think this is in the Capricorn, I think this was in the Capricorn bonus reading I just did earlier. Uh, but yeah, I have here somebody wants to speak their mind. Somebody wants to speak their mind um, with confidence. Um, someone also has to balance their mental and emotional considerations. Um, because this is the ending of a difficult situation. It's time to embrace change and expect things to get better now. Um, recovering from an addiction, so um, this could be about um, yeah. In the Capricorn one, it was about a lifestyle, so I'm seeing like the same thing about a lifestyle. Um, you could have Capricorn in your chart, or you could be um, dealing with a Capricorn, but um, there's a lot of yeah repeat cards, uh, so you might want to check out that reading too. Um, but yeah, somebody is being asked to nurture themselves, care for themselves. Um, I think it's because of a lifestyle. Yeah, this is very cut and dry energy with the, the air in here. So, um, I just feel like, um, you don't like their lifestyle or somebody doesn't like your lifestyle. And, um, this is issues like regarding family or... This is issues like romanticizing your past. So this may be, um, this may be, you may have dated a person that's like this, I'm getting. And, um, you really have the desire to move on, uh, for something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional. If this isn't you, it's them. Somebody who wants to move on. Um, they're, they have a blindfold on though, they're not seeing the abundance that are, that is around them and that they are protected. Um, they do need to make some long-term plans though, um, cause things are looking good and they need to have patience right now. Um, yeah, things are looking up. This is the ending of a difficult situation. Some of you may be planning a trip somewhere with palm trees or a nice architecture. 
Um, and when I say palm trees are nice architecture, I'm seeing like Vegas, Dubai, Florida, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, uh, California, um, Hawaii, stuff like that. Um, yeah, somebody is also getting important psychic insights, like their intuition is talking to them, telling them to release fears that hold them back. Um, somebody wants to go in another direction, though. Somebody wants to be alone. Yeah, somebody wants to be alone. Um, they're ready to hop on the horse and just hop out, hop on, uh, hop on out of the, I cannot speak, sorry. Somebody wants to hop on the horse. And hop on out of your life. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, sorry, it's early. And um, I do... I do see they need to take time to carefully review their options. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, so, how they think about you. Remember, this could be yours or their energy. So, they see you um, enjoying life's little luxury. Spending quiet time alone successful self-employment um they also see you have heightened psychic abilities um they feel like their relationship with you um is beginning a new phase but they also feel like somebody new has entered your life this is like um like a cerebral energy though this was in capricorns too a cerebral cerebral energy yeah, so this is like a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things or negative fear-based thoughts. I think they just think the worst about this situation with you. Um, and if there is a third-party situation they and they, they lurked and found it, they feel... They feel like trapped, like they want to leave, but they um, really like their feeling... Like they really like you they they like how you make them feel um but they need to know that um they're just a duck they're just a duck you, there's gonna be better things um ahead of them and that they need to learn from this and that brilliant new ideas and inspirations are gonna come their way um they're gonna see the truth of the situation um it's gonna be a challenging beginning they want to move forward they want to go in another direction but they kind of keep looking back because they do see you as the star. Um, it's either they see you as a star. Like this energy is so intertwined. But they see you as a star. They see um, you making positive, optimistic, long-term plans. They see you're on the right path. See you're getting a lot of divine guidance. Also, you work a lot. Um... Yeah, you work a lot. You work too much. And you need to communicate. Because it hurts them. And maybe because you work so much, that's why they think there's another person in your life. But like I said, I'm going to say the same thing like I said for the Capricorn one. Uh, my advice would be to communicate um, and talk this out. Because if you're just assuming without any evidence then um you could sabotage this and it, it does look good um it does look good but if there is a third party situation that you know about like you have proof and you, and you know it um then don't let your feelings for this person hold you back and, you know, just cut the cord and, and do your thing because you're going to be hurting yourself. So, I hope that was good for you guys. I know it was a little short. Um, but I'll catch you guys for March, okay? The ending of March. Hope that was good. Like, it's not negative. This really isn't negative. It's more like cerebral energy. So, I really, like I said, don't assume. Communicate and, um communicate with vision don't be defensive uh, have a conversation a grown conversation no yelling you know what I mean uh, get your point 
across to this other person um, in an inside voice and be um, understanding and calm and um, get to the bottom of this and once you get your answer and and know for sure then decide what to do okay hope that was good for you guys all right bye